We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Night Terror's Shazam issue 2. This is a two-part micro-series from DC Comics in 2023 that ties into the Night Terrors event. This issue was written by Mark Wade, pencils by Roger Cruz, inks by Wellington Diaz. Arif Prianto was the colorist. Troy Paterio on letters, covered by Dan Mora, sister editor Rebecca Bonahan, Paul Kaminsky editor. Cover's okay. It does relate a little bit to what's going on in the book, but it just seems a bit generic. Probably could have been a little more exciting, but at least it has some sense of peril and action in it, which is more than you get most of the time in DC these days. So Mary is pushing back against evil Billy, and she quickly jumps over to other people's dreams to try and help them so the other members of her family can wake up as well. So she helps them individually defeat their nightmares, some of which are fairly pedestrian, getting picked on at school, adults telling you what to do, that sort of thing. General insecurities that people have. She has to help her foster parents in a different way than the others which was interesting but evil Billy keeps trying to beat her up and she pushes back and the other family members show up to help out as well. So again Insomnia is really not in this in a direct way he's mostly just sort of a nightmare creature I guess a generic nightmare creature posing as Billy but overall I thought it was pretty fun. It's an interesting story about family and people's insecurities and how one person can make a difference in other people's lives that sort of thing. Overall though I didn't much care for the art. It's not my favorite style it's very disproportionate very anime influenced and it doesn't really work for this type of story and it does at times look very amateurish this is more like art i'd expect in a low-selling dynamite book or some other indie work but the artist has a good sense of perspective and is able to do more than just some flat boring images so i guess there's a, probably a market for this style i just don't care for it i think it's a little too cartoonish and not in a good way not in a fun cartoon way but in a steven universe what's proportion I don't understand that kind of way so I will recommend reading it but only if you get it for a couple bucks the story's good but the art really holds it back but that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one